Most of you will probably know by now that front lines are a good way to easily micromanage large amounts of divisions. But as fun as it is to watch the AI crumble under large assaults, just drawing an order and clicking on go is not all there is to it. Today I'm going to teach you how to use front lines properly. So first of all, why even use front lines? There are two reasons easier micromanagement and planning bonus. First, we're going to look at the field marshal front line. Here is a example of a field marshal front line. This is the front line that you're going to want to use the most as it allows the most divisions to be put in a single order. Let's first take care of a bad habit. As you can see with the normal field marshal front line, it is still subdivided into as many armies as you have assigned to the field marshal. This causes the frontline AI to mess around and constantly try to spread out the divisions to their army specific section of the line. Stop using this. Instead, shift left click the field marshal frontline order. Now it no longer cares which generals the divisions are assigned to, and it just divides them along the line. This causes the frontline AI to be less confused, so it's generally just better to use. While you have an active field marshal frontline, you can still assign individual armies their own frontlines. This can be useful if you're fighting on multiple fronts. Just click on the general, unassign all units from their active order, and draw a frontline for that army specifically wherever you want it. This, however, is not the most important reason to have a frontline. The most important reason to use frontlines is to get planning bonus. This is especially important on your high stat units such as special forces or tank divisions. This is also where views on the game may diverge. Some players just play the game to enjoy it, but if you want to get better at it, you will want to pay close attention to the next part. In order to micromanage your units into creating effective encirclements and to kill your enemy fast, it is important that you do so manually. The easiest way to do this is to combine using the Field Marshal frontline with using the garrison order on the general that's in charge of your special divisions. You can also keep the units unassigned, but this might be annoying when creating new Field Marshal frontlines as they'll automatically get assigned to the new one. Because the units are not assigned to a frontline, they won't automatically move up and spread out. This way you can stack them up on the frontline in the perfect position to encircle enemy troops. The best way to do this is to stack up your divisions so they fill out combat with, wait for the planning bonus to tick up, and attack while it's at its highest. You move around the enemy divisions you want to encircle in a pincer, move back to kill them, and then move on to the next group. Here you can see the effect of planning bonus. The higher your general's planning skill is, combined with doctrinal bonuses, traits, and spirits, the higher your maximum planning is. You don't need to do this every time to win wars, but if you want to get better at the game and play in multiplayer games, you have to, at the very least, understand how this works. If this video was helpful, feel free to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a good day.